Hi folks, knife painting. I want to put a little cottage on here, on a cliff. Bit of a Brittany scene. Uh, 2mm MDF primed with PVA glue and ingeniously stuck to the board, courtesy of Barry. Uh, cadmium yellow pale, yellow ochre, light red and Payne's grey. <coughs> Should be able to do it all with that. The Payne's grey with the white has a sort of a, a bluey tinge. Let's put a bit of red to see what that does to it. Give it a bit of a warm tint. Now I'm not too bothered about uh, mixing this the sky too much. I kind of just work that all in. Give it a bit of character, a bit of a bit of life to it. I'm going to the edge because these can be mounted on a on a panel on a say hardboard or MDF panel sort of you see them framed that side with this stuck in the middle and they're quite effective don't use a lot of light red now I've got that red ochre I tend to use that because I've got a lot of it but I've got a lot of the cad red as well not cad red the, uh, well I've got a lot of that Just good. This is working it into the uh, to the hollows. Although this doesn't rub down very well because it's so hard, because it's two millimeter, and it is used to backing photographs and watercolor paintings. I'll do. This. The sort of the cottage when I want to get round to it. That's a, get off. Add a bit of ochre to that. Change, change the tone. Oh, I need a. I need my pad. So a bit of a bit of kitchen towel folded over two sheets and then stuck on the board with or clipped on my board then I can just wipe my knives as, as I go before I start using a, 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 a bit of towel not a towel a bit of kitchen paper held in my hand I have to make it obvious because I get asked for, because I don't make it so clear. So you can always ask questions. Ooh. Has someone asked if my shoulders ache doing all this? No, my wrists do and my fingers are cramping at the moment. All right, let's just get, get that. I hear the children playing in the garden. Not my garden, I listen to Never see them out in the road, in the street. Well, they are very young. But it's so nice to uh, kids playing in the garden. Now, I've got to put another headband in there. Well, that's you know, going to be tricky to, to do that so small um, with my little brush. Uh, right, so I've got a nice bit of bit of roof. Just use a bit of paint to create a touch of white. Now, 
could have put white in, in that building, catching the sun. Now I want a bit of tissue in my hand to wipe the brush now. Take off the excess. Uh, we have a slightly grey. I'll turn that over there a bit further. Right, clean that. A nice bit of bit of white. Hmm. Just a just an ordinary old, old fisherman's cottage, and not elaborate. Going a bit bigger. Um, let's see if we can be a bit clever. Uh, no. Well, that one too. Let's get that grey kind of. Now we'll put a bit of a window in. Okay. Now a bit of a whitewashed See how fiddly that is. Oh, a bit of a shadowy white on one side of that because it's out of the light. Right, now I'm just going to try and get that down a bit lower. Okay, now that is hiding it on a little slope. Right now, let's clean the brush. And put in a bit of a, a bit of light green. Again, let's change there. a bit of light on that side there. Okay, I'll do. 
Now we can do the get back to our knife and finish off this. Shadow, cloud shadow, if it shows, so my head's in the way. Oh, let's get that down here, then we will work out a sea colour. Right, so let's have some ochre and some Payne's grey. some of that light. Now, if I don't get that dead right, my friend Letty and that is going to complain. Right now we can go and do the, uh, the trees over here. Bit of red, bit of Payne's grey, bit of <coughs> yellow. Dark green. Oh, a bit more pains. I've lost my counter change there. My favourite Brittany artist is um, George Laporte. Laporte. I looked through his studio or gallery window in Quiberon oh, years ago when we were camping in France with our trailer. I always qualify camping with a trailer because my wife would never go back to tent camping. We're we'll, we'll working it all up now. Getting too old for it. Right now, just lost my counter change there, so let's uh, go back that slightly off white.
Well, let's put a bit of touch of red up there. Chimney pot. Don't attach the chimney pots to the chimney. Doesn't look quite right. Leave them floating. Uh, I feel like I'm just. Well, I think that's the best I'm going to get with that. Very tricky. Well, that looks all right. It's just a, a little fisherman's cottage. Now we're getting some. Uh, I hope you're enjoying this. It's a, I just love knife painting. Far, far better than with a brush. I, for me, anyway. Some tone and texture in here. I was going to put a headland over there, wasn't I? Well, I'll, I'll bring the rocks out a bit, a bit further. That's a bit better. All oh, right, there we go. Some nice greens. Payne's grey and Cajelo make a, a beautiful green. The only green I tend to use is when I'm doing those oily paintings, the two colour or three colour ones. And it's, it, and I'm using the sort of yeah, the red ochre and the Red ochre and uh, sap green. So that's the only time I really used the ready made. I want some rocks, grey. Just 
Just want to put a bit of light on the rocks. Oh, that's about all the detail we're going to put in there. Plenty of green, plenty of colour. Oh, my fingers are going to get a bit uh, messed up. Don't be that worry about that. Oil painting can be messy. Right, let's uh, get in here and just put in some more rocks. Fill up here and there. Then I have to go back to it now. I'll darken that a little bit. Because I've quite a bit of shadow in in there. Just darken, just darken that yellow ochre and red with some paint grey. I think I've told. Do you most of, well some of you will remember, I used to work in the west end of London, around Kensington, Chelsea, Nicebridge, fitting carpets, that was my business. <coughs> One of my clients had a, an amazing landscape and he was a painter, well he was in his youth, he was very old, elderly. to exhibit with uh, John Piper, they were great friends. And John Piper was uh, a uh, mixed media mainly. Um, they were friends and he had this uh, lovely 30 inches by 24, something like that, beautifully framed landscape he asked me what I, th what I thought of it. I didn't even know, know him. I didn't know who painted it. I, I'm not that much of an expert. But uh, I looked at the signature. It was by Corbet, Gustav Corbet. And this chap, very wealthy. Um, was a dealer and he said uh, his friends don't appreciate all this art. You know, it's Jericho sketches for, for Andrew Cleese and the Lion. That oh, was incredible. We, we'd go around with a glass of sherry. And uh, they like to show my ignorance really. This guy knew what he was talking about. Got some Look at that bit of that grey in the Just a bit of bit of wet.
I would imagine he's, if he was alive now, he'd be about 120. <coughs> but it was lovely, it was a privilege to, to go into the, some of these houses with some of these distinguished people. I saw um, Lowry's, Picasso's, <coughs> Catherine Williams, I saw one, one client had a beautiful Catherine Williams, big, large painting. Oh, the knife, of course. The more I do this, the more I fall in love with it. I know that this, the house is a bit clumsy, but quite tricky, as you saw. But with a little bit of shadow behind there. Oh, I'm not really working. I make the, I make the, uh, make a bit of light here. Goes out of the shadow. Well, I quite like to be trees but I wish they were just a little bit with the three millimeter MDF which I recommend really um, it's it roughs up uh, all the, the surface when you sandpaper it goes quite fibrous this stays very hard so it's it's very hard to um, uh, I've got sort of a lost and, a, uh, lost and found. I'm not sure my roof line is spot on, but anyway. Let's get this to get a dark green. Go red. Well, just catching the light on the top of this. Bit obvious, but... Hey, well that, that's okay. Uh, right, okay, well I don't think there's much more I can do with that. I think that's quite... That's a bit naff, but... Uh, in there. Do I show just a bit a bit of uh, of the sky reflected? Such a grey. I don't think that's right, is it? Let's scrape it off. I just want that shadow to show. They're coming into the, the lighter ochre, sandy colour. around here. Ah, 
Okay, I'll put that in the frame and we'll have a have a little look at it. Uh, a knife. I'll put a bit of board here and I'll clip that board so that I, this will the painter when I cut it free, it just slide down to there. And also, I can put the frame painting on top of that. Get rid of this. Uh, right, okay. Right, put it in the frame. Which is ready. My cutting of boards. If you're going to paint this small, cut, cut sort of four or five of them and just prepare them in readiness. Well, there it is, so we've got a, a nice little fisherman's cottage. Uh, I, think, I think my clouds are a little bit obvious. Okay, well I hope you like that folks. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. I'll get this uploaded now. Bye bye. Oh, let's just bring that over there a bit. So we're central, more or less. Get a square in the frame. Oh, well, there we are. Fisherman's Cottage, Brittany. Or anywhere comes to that. Oh, do you know? My, my house is leaning there. Let me pile it. Oh, here we go. Now. That's better. The brush I shall clean with um, some washing up liquid, you know, stuff you wash your dishes with in the sink, as distinct from dishwasher. To make that distinction, because somebody will be using a dishwasher tablet. Right, okay, well, thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Bye bye.